Hello, Internet. My name is Ben Havinga, also known as Syntax Error Geek. Today I'm going to show you a really quick script that will automate some inventory management for you. So you can see right here in this chest, I have a bunch of diamonds. And normally, if you just hold down shift, you can click on one and every one of them, one by one, to bring them into your inventory. Right? Well, there is a little trick that if you pick up one and then you hold down shift and double click, it puts all of the in your inventory in one shot and it holds on to the last one that you have so you can let go of that and press shift again. Today we're going to automate this. So how are we going to automate this? Well, it's pretty simple. We've just got a couple steps that we need to do in a sequential order. The first one we need to pick up a stack. This is something that we're gonna do manually because we can't quite automate this step. So the first step is just picking up a stack. The next step, hover over and then you wanna hold down shift. The next step after that is to double click. After that, we're going to release shift, click once more, hold shift again and click again and then release shift. That's the order that we're gonna follow when we make our script. So let's go do that now. The very first step you're gonna do is download a program called AutoHotKey. If you're not familiar with AutoHotKey, it's a tool to, that a lot of gamers and programmers and other professions use for creating custom macros. Simply download it and then follow the instruction to install, it's very simple. To create our script, we're first going to right click on our desktop or in a folder if you're doing so. Click go to new and then auto hotkey script. We're just going to give it a name of inventory mover. And there we go. Our script has been made. You don't want to go ahead and double click on this because it'll just run an empty script. First, you need to right click and then hit edit script. So now you've got a blank script open. You'll see there's a couple of defaults in here. For this particular script, you don't need to set a working directory you, and you don't need these variables as well. You only need to set the send mode to input. The next step is to set your macro key. I am using F24. Did you know there are 24 F keys? You might only see 12 on your keyboard, but there are 24 that you can program and the computer will see them. I'm using F24 because my mouse has a few extra buttons and I can program what they do when I click them. So I'm gonna program one of my mouse buttons to F24. Next, we need to start our sequence of events. So the first thing we need to do is we need to send a key and this is going to be a shift key. So we want it to tell the shift key to go down. Then we want to click the mouse twice. Then we want shift up, click once. We're gonna send another shift key down, another sh click, another shift up, and then we want to return. And there is our finished script. Very simple. If you want to, you can download this code uh, in the description below. Save that real quick. You see my icon here for my script. I'm just gonna double click that and you won't see anything. I just double clicked it and nothing happened. Well, what's actually happening is you can see down here, sometimes this will show up inside here. You'll have your auto hotkey script running and you can right click on that to exit, suspend, reload this script, um, etc. So right now it's running in the background. It's waiting for me to press this F24 key. Once I press that F24 key, it's gonna run through this script and then it's gonna return and go back to a waiting phase where it's gonna wait for that key. So I have a Sensi RAW uh, computer mouse and you can see I have this application open for my mouse in particular and I can program uh, which 
the buttons are. And you can see right here, button number four, I've already programmed it for F24. You can program this to anything you like. For instance, if you wanted to use an actual key on the keyboard, say F12, you can use F12. Anyways, setting that back to F24. I've got my mouse programmed for F24 right here on this button, you see on the side. And now let's open up Minecraft again and try and do that same thing. Okay, here I am back in my Minecraft world. And you can see I've got my diamonds in my inventory. I want to put them back in my chest. The very first thing is I have to click on one of these and pick it up so that way I can move it around. The reason that we can't automate this step is if you've got items it's kind of scattered in random spots and you want to pick up all of them you can't program the mouse to pick this and then find the nearest one so what we want to do is we want to pick up our our diamond and then we want to hover over the next one that we could find in in our chest and then we want to click our hotkey button and look at that it just pops all the way over there let me show you again here get it all put into the chest and I just click my hotkey button and all of them go right back into the chest. It's doing all of those steps in one uh, action. So look how much faster we can move. And if I just click my hotkey button, it's almost like hitting a shift click on each one. But if I pick up one and hover over that, it does the whole thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, links are in the description for downloads. Have a good day.